folks. I got myself here uh, getting ready to spring clean some trees here. So I got a little garden variety juniper, procumbens, I think, nana, whatever they call them. It's a pretty big shrub when I bought it, but I've never put wire on it. I've had it for about six years. And uh, the nursery trained it in a pot from the nursery for about two years first before I potted it in this. And I'm just going to clean it up here a little bit, maybe do some trimming, just to get it ready. And through the winter, it gets full of pine needles, and then you get some dye back, and I just rub all that stuff off with my fingers. Clear out all the branches so I can see them again, see what new growth's coming in. It's already starting to bud out a little bit, little flowers coming in, so that's good. Like I said, I never put wire on this. When I clipped it, it just kind of came out naturally. And sometimes you do have to wire them up. I tend not to like to wire my trees too much. To go around here and clean all the stuff out. In a way, it's kind of nice to during the winter when all the fall comes down on it, you get leaves on your trees and everything, it kind of shelters them. You can also shelter your trees with uh, burlap or cedar boughs, keep them freezing. These are pretty hardy trees for the northwest. cleaned up here. Be surprised at how much gets in there and you can't see the pads anymore. You get the garbage out of there and then some of the branches go back to where they were supposed to be laying and then you'll know what to trim off. It's still kind of chilly, early spring now, first week of April. So I'm just going to trim this with my scissors. Usually during the summer, if I get little buds coming out, I'll finger pinch them. Then they tend not to die back with the brown too much. So this way, I'll just spill a little cold out. And I'll have a lot of rain, so actually the, the branch tips like that will be able to take in some of the moisture and won't get burned too much by the hot sun. One branch I might want to put a piece of wire on right there. Kind of take a look at everything here and see what, how it's laying. It's kind of turning into little balls right now, so I'm going to look at some of these lower things here. Also see if I got any spiders coming down. You can get, you can get rid of those right away before the warm spring comes. Get rid of the bugs. This one's real healthy. I just want to look and I'll start down here at this guy. Don't stick too strongly to the first branch and all that. I tend to kind of just look to see what's natural because it looks like a tree. Anything that might come down, I like to get my pads kind of a level. Any of this stuff coming down here is just going to come out. And it's nice to see the wood underneath a little bit. And it looks like you're looking at a tree. Just gonna do a, just a quick trim because come June and July, this will really start to fill out. I can really come back in and top it some more. I don't want it 
venting it out too much right now. Kind of clean it up, make it look happy a little bit. Sometimes you'll have during the winter too, you'll get some branches when you'll have to roll all the foliage off. Sometimes I'll leave those. I can put some gin, sherry, the bark back on that a little bit. That's a kind of the small one, so even later maybe just cut it as a nub. Dead branches look kind of cool on trees. There's been times when I've thinned this really way down and then it helps to bring the pads tighter. And I'll be doing that in a couple months because it's going to fill out some more. bottom of these upper pads and then you can start to get that apex formed up. Nice having a little turntable you can sit here and just spin it around and keep it at eye level so you can look at everything. This tree doesn't look bad really close. I had a, a friend in the in the club say that he rated his trees by numbers one to ten. And if it looked, if it was a 10, it looked really good 10 feet away. Well, I'm about a foot away, but it still looks pretty good, so I don't know how I would rate that. <laughs> Maybe that theory's backwards, I don't know. It doesn't look too bad. It looks great across the yard. So maybe this is a 10. Been working on it for several years now. And it stayed real healthy, so must be a happy tree in here. Never transplanted it. I tend not to transplant my trees according to rule. I let the tree tell me when it wants to be transplanted. If it's pushing up soil or it's starting to look a little sick, I might pull it. Give it a little super drive or something to bring it back. Check my soil mixture, make sure I got enough grit in my soil. I mix my soil with, with grit and compost. That's looking pretty good. talked about wiring that branch, but I think I'm going to wait for now. I'm going to let it go. See if we can get some more growth on this pad on the inside. Now 
Yeah, I just pulled this stuff out of my soil here. All the old needles, or the pine needles, and old foliage. All ground up. Clean that off so my soil can start to breathe now. I don't need to shelter them anymore. Quite a bit in here, but it really helps the soil a little bit during the winter. I never did plant moss in here. This is just because I live under fir trees and it's just I've become natural. I tend not to put moss on my trees unless it comes naturally. Because then it just gets dry during the summer and you're constantly actually watering moss instead of a tree and you end up with bugs in your moss. And I just get my little fork that I made a rake out of and give them roots on top, a little tickle. And also it mixes my grit up on top and then when I go to start watering again, it'll lay in nice and look really nice in there. May let this tree go several more years before even thinking about transplanting. Give my pot a little sweep. Garden Juniper. A little spring cleanup. <laughs> 